And Ottawa Glandorf back at state for a fourth consecutive year. The ninth ranked Lady Titans facing number six, Afrocentric, in the nightcap. Uh, the Blue Crew loud and proud at the Schottenstein Center. How about Katie Hempfling playing defense, gets the steal, leads to this on the other end. Hempfling to Paige Sutter, 3 0 lead for Ottawa Glandorf. Tied at five, a long pass to Aaron Kaufman at 7 5. OG back in front. Then Hempfling, corner pocket, knocking down the three, breaks a 7 7 tie. It's 10 to 7. Then Hempfling, the outlet to Kaufman. Look at this, pump fake. Let's the defender fly by and scores 12 7 lead. Second quarter, Hemphlin blocked once but not twice. OG still in front 15 to 11, but Afrocentric goes on a run. Jordan Horston, the finish 7 0 run. It's 18 15. Nubians before the break. Kaufman sweeps in, saves the day from a five second call, scores and is fouled 23 21. The Nubians leading at the half. Third quarter, OG trying to come back. Paige Sutter to Ashley Schrader, breaking the press. OG within four, but look at Horston on the other end. 32-23, Afrocentric in front. Fourth quarter, Katie Hempfling to Schrader makes it a 32-27 game, but the Titans' fine season comes to a close as they fall in the Division Three state semifinals. Well, we knew we were you know, up against it a little bit with the height that they presented. I thought our girls came out and played the first quarter very well. Um, I thought we hung on in the second quarter, although our shooting percentage was dropping. We were rushing some shots. Um, we let them get away with a couple of rebounds, and, you know, we were still hanging in there. We were hoping the third quarter we could come in and, and make a stand and do something. Uh, I think it was a 9-4 quarter against us. and. It kind of eroded our base, our ability to kind of do what we wanted to do, and we kind of had to, I don't know, play a little bit of catch up, and um, it just wasn't meant to be. Well, this is obviously the team with the most height we've played all year, <clears throat> and so we try to stimulate in that in practice as well as we can, but really you can't. Their athleticism and their height, they're they're a really good team, and um, I think we gave it all on our on the court today, and I couldn't be more proud of the girls. Um, we knew if we ball faked that there would be seams open, and so I tried to find them, but when I did, I didn't seem to make many of my layups. <laughs> so if those would have been in, maybe it would have been a different game, but they didn't. So I've coached for basketball for six years. Katie's been around for four, and they were the best four years you could imagine. Um, to be at State four years in a row, and for her and, and Carrie and Mac to be a part of that is something special. Um, I don't know how. <laughs> It'll be tough. It'll, it'll be extremely tough to try and figure out where we go from here and how we put together a team. But, you know, with the, with the leadership she's given, we got some young girls that are ready to take the mantle, so we'll see. Honestly, I'm very blessed, um, to say the least, you know, with all the coaching staff and the support from the OG community and the girls. I couldn't be more thankful for all of that. And um, it's honestly a team thing, like going to state all four years. It's just not me. It's not anyone else. It's a whole team. And um, we win as a team and we lose as a team. And either way, we're still proud. I want to say thanks to our sponsors today, Ottawa Oil, sponsoring OG Girls Basketball, Subway of Ottawa, sponsoring the Lady Green, and the Minster Bank, sponsoring Minster.